Hey guys, welcome back. This video is pretty pretty late today. It's because I got home kind of late, but I figured I want to make a video for you guys. There's not very much again, but I just want to make a video. So, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to this. Drive Club's free uh, PS4 edition, if you guys weren't aware, for the PlayStation Plus members, they got a free version of Drive Club. It's not the full game, but it's partial game. Um, it's going to be removed from the PlayStation Store starting October 6th. So, what day is that even? Let me look it up here. It's going to be next Tuesday. Awesome. Now, there's no reason given why they were going to remove it from the store. I'm, I'm assuming because it probably affected their sales. I mean, the game graphically, and it's really fun, I will admit. And I don't know. Like, it's a decent game. I don't know why they just don't leave it up for PlayStation Plus members to try out. It might be affecting their sales. They won't, they won't say that, but I bet that's what it is. It has now sold more than 2 million copies, so maybe it's not affecting their sales, but 2 million is not that much money for, um, uh, I, eh, I don't know, maybe it is. So, what do you guys think? 2 million is a lot of copies? I think it is. It's a pretty decent amount. I mean, they made a pretty good of money. Pretty good of money. Yep, because that, that's English right there. Yep. Uh, you know, they asked if the game is being removed and something more substantial could take its place. The developer said, I don't know, we're not involved in what's featured on PlayStation Plus. So, they pretty much said, we don't know, we're not involved, they're taking it down. Unless they're going to release, basically, ooh, I just thought of this right now. They might be releasing the full game on uh, play for PlayStation Plus members, that would be so sweet. They could release the full version, so maybe, that just hit me, maybe it is. Maybe it's going to be, I don't know, maybe it is. All, it's getting, all it is is uh, that's getting removed from the PlayStation Store starting on Tuesday. So maybe, maybe it's going to be free next month or two months from now or even December. So that'd be pretty cool. So ap apparently uh, Black Ops 3 Twitter stunt looks really real and it backfired. It's basically, I don't know what city that is. It, it doesn't say what city it was. But it looks, it looks like a fictional city, obviously. But it looks like they're trying to brand it after maybe London. Maybe not. I don't know. And it looks real, like it looks, holy crap, that's real, but it's not. So they basically rebranded themselves and calling them Current Events Aggregate, um, posting fictional news from Black Ops 3 near future settings. Uh, pretty much what they did is that the tweets were extremely realistic, and they were posted the account spotted a new name and icon. It did not look like the Black Ops uh, marketing font when the mock headlines drone attacks and evacuation started doing the rounds on Twitter. So even some fans believed it to be real. Um, a lot of our editorials have gone up, you know, saying it was foul on a stunt, which might have been quite unacceptable. Unexceptionable if Activision hadn't elected to disguise its comp for the duration. Uh, the story, I guess, goes mainstream. The publisher may have a bit, you know, they might have to talk about it and be like, hey, yeah, we did that, or no, we didn't, we got hacked. I don't know. Do you guys think it was real, or do you think this was just like a huge thing to just get more attention on Call of Duty? But that picture that I'm looking at right now looks really good. It looks like a pre-rendered photo. Or at least look, it literally looks photorealistic, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I believe this was just a PR stunt. They're, they're going to play it off as, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but yeah, it's great publicity for the game. Obviously, they're, they're getting more attention. I believe it's going to be going mainstream. People are going to be like, check this out, you know. I don't know. It looks really cool. I mean, I don't know. Call of Duty looks pretty good this year, like I, got, like I stated earlier. But it's still going to be the same generic game, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be running, gun, and shoot, you know, multiplayer. whoop de doo you know? But yeah, guys, that's all I want to talk about today. Make sure to like this video, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.